yourself and Cameron will have a million dollar showdown to discuss everything, and LA Knight is going to come out and crash it. He'll leave Grimes laying, and you're going to depart with LA Knight. So uh, now we're getting into an angle where it kind of seems like you're with LA Knight. Of course, Knight is uh, really a star on the rise now on the main roster, as we've discussed. And, you know, what kind of potential would you say you saw in him out of the gate? Did you ever imagine that he'd reach these kind of heights? I mean, I, I, well, I saw enough of him to know that he, you know, it's kind of like um, the one thing that you can't, you, the, uh, the one thing that you can't develop is charisma. You either have it or you don't. You that you you that you have that special whatever it is that sets you apart from the others and and you know you can't teach charisma. You either have it or you don't. Now if you have it, you know, you can help somebody, you know, you know, like grow a little more in it and, and, and make it stronger. But you know, but again, uh, like I said, LA and I, 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 I saw it. I said he's got he's got it. So, you know, I didn't know how far he would go, but I, you know, I knew he was going to, you know, unless he screwed up in some way, but he, he had a, he had the potential to go, to go places. And at that point, uh, how far, you know, nobody knew. I mean, because a lot of that, then once he gets the move up and, you know, then he gets into, into a position and how, how is he going to respond in that position? And is it going to, you know, uh, vault him back up into a higher one? And that, you know, that's, that's thing. That's something only time tells. That's it too. Like is it, you know, maybe the office sees it in him, but if he doesn't see it in himself or he gets nervous under those circumstances, it could push him back down. So there's a lot of extenuating circumstances that can go into this, but so far it's like, you know, he's been thrown in the deep end and he's swimming very well. Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, is a criticism of LA Knight from some people is that uh, some folks out there are saying that he's kind of just like a carbon copy of like a Stone Cold Steve Austin mixed with like The Rock. He's he's borrowed a lot of their kind of traits. I don't know that that's a fair criticism. You know, old is new in wrestling all the time. How do you feel about that kind of thing, Ted? Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you. I haven't, you know, it's kind of like I watch him, you know, but, but I don't. That's what the, the fans need to understand. Uh, they they know a lot more about wrestling today than I do <laughs> mm -hmm. because I don't watch it anymore. I mean, occasionally I'll turn it on, but I seem to always get frustrated. And I get frustrated because I see the guys going out there and bouncing all over that ring like a you know, like a you know, like a dummy. And, you know, it's kind of like, tell me a story. Yeah. You're taking all these fancy bumps and everything, and you think that's what it's about. No, it's not about the bumps. The bumps are necessary, but the bumps are like, you know, they're in contacts. You know, like, why did you take the bump? And how did you sell the bump? It's, I don't know. It's, it's just hard for me to watch. Make it real, right? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, okay to be exactly. fancy bumps. Make and it real. Try it. And, and that's what I used to say because I grew up in the business. And I mean, even when I was in the sixth grade, you know, you know, like guys, I mean, you know, like, ah, oh, wrestling's not real, da 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 da. da. And so, but I said, that's one of the things I said. I said, if I don't accomplish anything else, when I get out of the ring, they're going to believe what they saw. They might say, "Hey, man, that, those guys in the first couple of matches, you know, they were they were faking it, but these guys were going for it." That was always my attitude, and I tried to do that to the best of my ability. So obviously, there's no replacing Randy Savage, but what do you think of LA Knight as the new representative of Slim Jim? Have you seen any of those commercials? No. So he. In, I, 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 <laughs> Instead of Randy and his "Oh yeah," it's uh, La Knight and his catchphrase, which is just "Yeah." So, uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of interesting, I guess. If anybody's going to do it nowadays, La Knight's kind of a fit. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? Once again, uh, you keep popping these things on me, brother. I, I have not seen that commercial yet. I'm going to have to send it to you. It's pretty fun. 